Hello dear viewers, welcome back to Cybrosis. Today in this video, I'll be talking about how to create a subscription plan using the subscription module in Odoo. Now before even creating a subscription, you can create this plan. Plans can be used as a template for creating a new subscription and even using the subscription plan, you can create a new subscription for the customers. So I'm not confusing you guys, let's move on to the video and see how to configure a new subscription plan. So guys, now let's see how to manage the subscription plan. So for that, let's open the subscriptions module. And here in the module, if you go to configuration, you have this recurring plans over there as well as the quotation templates. Now just open the recurring plans. Now here is basically where you create these plans. Okay. So I'm going to create a new one. The name of the you know plan which we are going to create is monthly. I'm going to change it to annually. Okay. Or simply we'll give annual plan. Okay. And then uh, you have this details like the billing period. Okay. Billing period, I'm putting it as one year. Automatic closing dates, that is unpaid subscriptions after the due date measured by this number of days will be automatically closed by the subscription expiration scheduled action. Okay. So that's the automatic closing date. And then you have the self service here where you have the closable, the ad products, renew and optional plans. If it's a closable one, okay, customer, if the customer can close this subscription, you have to check it. If it is ad product, that is, if you are enabling the customers to add the product, that is allow customers to create an upsell code to adjust the quantity of the product in the subscription, then you can check it. And again, you have this renew where the, the customer can renew the quotation. And then you have the optional plans that is allow customers to switch from this plan to another on quotation. That is also possible here. So from here, you can choose which one the customer should switch on to. So that can be given here. And here under the pricing section, you have the option to provide the product. So I'm putting magazine here. And the price list also can be chosen. So I'll choose the Christmas one. Okay. And then you have... See, I'll just adjust this. Then you can, you know, provide the amount. I'm putting it as 10. Okay. So that's, uh, that's a new customer, I mean, a recurring plan which we created. I'm going to save it and I'll show you adding this to a subscription. So this plan basically works as a quotation itself. So let me add a deco. And here you have this recurring plan. I'm putting annual here. Okay. So annual is added. Now for which product we have created? This is for magazine. Okay. And the price list. You can add Christmas to it. Okay. So you can see the unit price and all such things. So if you want to update the prices, you can simply click on this and then the price will be updated. Okay. And then you have this thing called until which date. So I'll put some date, let it be April of next year. So that's how you add a recurring plan towards the subscription. Okay, so this is a pre-created plan and that can be used here. Okay, so that's how you do it. Now here you have one more thing which is called quotation templates. Okay, so currently you have two templates. I'll create a new one. So let it be weekly. And the quotation validity, I'm putting it as seven days. The confirmation mail, that template can be uh, seen over here. So uh, I'll put send quotation as the quotation template. I mean the confirmation mail template. And then you have the company to choose a company, the invoicing journey. I mean the journal, sorry. And then you have the online signature as well as the online payment. Okay. Then the recurring plan can be chosen. So I'm choosing annual, the one which we created right now. Now, what I've done is I've inserted the recurring plan, that is the subscription plan, which I created inside the quotation template. Okay. And then here you can add the product. So the product I'm going to add is the subscription product called magazine. And the quantity, I'll set it to five. Okay. So that's done. I'm saving it. Now let's go on and try to add this quotation template in the subscriptions. So create a new one, going to add a customer. So let it be Abigail. And then you have the quotation template over here. 
in which I'm going to add weekly. So once I added weekly, you can see the product, the recurring plan and the quantity you know, is updated automatically. Okay, so you can create a recurring plan alone and you can use it. And also you can use this recurring plan, that is the subscription plan inside the quotation template. Okay, so that's how you basically play or configure with the, you know, recurring plan and the quotation template now. Yeah, that's it. So that's how you can easily manage and configure subscription plan in Odoo 17. I hope it's clear for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video.